I go by the name of Christ Young. And I have an addiction. I'm addicted to sneakers. It all started out as a kid. And just like you, I couldn't wait to go sneaker shopping. So on the first day of school, I could show up with the freshest pair of kicks money can buy. But as I got older, it turned into not just having the flyest kicks on my feet, but I wanted more. I wanted rare sneakers, limited editions, hard to find kicks, the ones you couldn't just go to a regular sneaker store to get. So follow me on my journey. I'll be taking you all around the world to talk sneaker coaching with collectors, sneaker fanatics, boutiques, celebrities, and athletes. So buckle up your seatbelts. Enjoy the ride. This is The Sneak Again. Well, the alumni brand was birthed about eight, eight, nine years ago from Sneaker King to Rugged Soul, then the alumni brand. The main store is 298 Utica Avenue in Brooklyn. It's been there about now 35 years. So they wanted to branch out and actually make you an alumni, you know? They wanted to touch with the community, to come in and bring the sneaker culture type a way to where you get informed on what you were buying. Because what's going on now, a lot of people are misinformed. They just think everything they see is just brand new. Boop, it just came out of nowhere. So that's basically where it came from. So, so I noticed today was a big day, a huge day. I, you know, I've been waiting for it. I've been hearing about <laughs> it. Uh, I came, I seen, I conquered. It was the release of the brand new Concord 11s. Today, Absolutely. The black and white yeah. Classic. Yeah. So how, how did that go? Oh man, you know, we had the uproar like usually when it's a big, big release. I roll up here and there's a line like crazy. And then you got the people like, hey, hey, you know, some some people you see all the time, they shop. They, and then some people you see them, you know, two, three months out of the year, that's it. You know, you don't see them that much. But it was amazing, you know, it was smooth. You know, everybody got what they needed. And this is what Nike does. You know, they know that brand is untouchable, especially that Jordan brand. That Jordan brand is something, no matter on a bad day, it's still gonna be a good day. So that's what it is right there. Where do you see the future of alumni? What, what are your future goals uh, for the company? Uh, alumni is going international. Alumni is trying to do it big like Amazon, you know? That's basically, now, how do you get the people in the brick and mortar? You offer something that's totally different from what they're used to, you know? Because now everybody's online with the free returns, you know? But when you come in here, you get to really understand what you're buying, you know? Online, you get a little information, but when you come in here, you got, oh, okay. And then we have that exclusive. We always have some sort of exclusive here. If you know us, you know we got some exclusive thing going. Any collaborations, we do a lot of collaborations. From Wu-Tang with Clarks, with um, Carhartt, Nike, anything of a sort. So basically that's how it goes down. And where can all the people that's watching now find you? Um, you can find us on alumniofny.com. That's also our Instagram, you know, and that's also our Twitter. Everything is alumni of NY. So you want to find us, we're online. You get to see all, everything that we got. My location here is 1924 Church Avenue in Brooklyn. We also have a location in Flushing. That's a brand new location. Been open six months, you know, where all our high-end gear is. So, you know, you want a different type of flavor, you know, they have it over there. And the main location is 298 Utica Avenue, Brooklyn, New York.
So it started when I was about seven years old. My dad put a basketball in my hand, and from that point, you know, I took my first dribble, took my first shot, and I just fell in love. Had to go crazy. Of course, man. You already know what it I is. I already know. Yeah. So growing up, who was your favorite basketball player? It's, I mean, everybody loves Jordan, but like, I always try to be different. So I was like, man, I love Kobe. And then Melo came into the mix. And from there, you know, when Melo signed with Jordan, then it was just crazy for me. Those were the, my two idols growing up. Dope, dope. All right, so with playing basketball, did it have an influence on you collecting sneakers? A hundred percent. Cause you know, like the NBA, you know, I'm so collector. You have all these different brands and stuff, you know, on these different players. And it's just the swag of it, you know, swag, it's confidence and everything like that. You know, different players are rocking different kicks. And you know, you don't want to be that dude who's, who has no swag on the court. Uh, you know what I mean? Especially if, you have, if you're on the court, man, I don't know if you, you might not get the respect if you're coming in with some bobos or something like that, you know? So <laughs> it was just always like a reason to be fresh, you know, in my opinion. Yeah, that's a fact, because even when, when I was growing up, you know, I wasn't really on the court like that. I had a little shot, you know what I'm saying? I had a little shot, but you know, I was going there for the girls. <laughs> so when I went to the courts back in the day, or you go, you know, to the high school games, mm -hmm. you know, the girls going to be there. So, you know, that's how I think it kind of goes hand in hand, because ball players, you, you don't want to be a scrub on the court, but you also want to be swagged out too. That's you know true. What I mean, because you got to get the girls, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? No, I, I totally hear you on that, fam. All right, so what was one of the sneakers growing up that you really, really wanted, that you finally got? Jeez, it's probably the Yeezys. I was, once I saw those. Ooh, you, know, you got some good boys on your feet, too. Yeah, so. man. <laughs> Once I saw those come out and once I like, you know, they built a lot of hype around that. That's when, you know, Watch the Throne was coming out with Kanye and Hove. And then once I saw those kicks, I was like, wow, man, I really need those. And then finally, once I got them, man, it was crazy, man. It's like mission just, accomplished, literally, right? literally, Mission literally, accomplished, yeah, I man. got them, I'm rocking yeah. them, it's lit. <laughs> yes, exactly. I think I wore them for a week straight. I didn't wear anything else. <laughs> Well, as much as you pay, you better get your money's worth as much as some joints cost. Yeah. And the crazy thing is the resell on those, people don't really understand how valuable those sneakers on your feet is. Mm -hmm. Which is why, you know, I'm kind of doing this show. You have to bring more reality to the sneaker culture because mm -hmm. it can get serious. Oh no, 100%. You know, I, I totally, get I, serious. I, I totally you know agree. So, you know, but the, these shoes in that time period, like 2012, you know, Right, like I said before, when Watch the Throne came out, like that just, that time period has like a, a timestamp that just holds so significantly to me because like that was just such a great year. And like- What was going on in the year that was like so- Man, you had LeBron in my, I'm from Miami. So you had LeBron man. in Miami, man, everything. Like the culture, they were killing it on the court, man. It was just amazing. Obama. With Duke, yeah, oh yeah, Obama, yeah, 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 very true. And it was just, it was just love was in the air. And it was just so, so great, you know? That's a fact. So, overall, give or take. I, I'm looking at you. I'm like, look, you got a lot, man. You're you're an NBA <laughs> player, man. Uh, how many? How many do you think? Just overall, do you think you have in your collection? How how many kicks? Give or take. Somewhere north of a hundred. Ooh. I don't know, cause I got kicks Ooh. in New York, kicks in Miami. I lost count. Ooh. <laughs> So, out of all those sneakers, which one is other? Is I know you the Yeezys, right? Yeah. But is that your most valuable sneaker in your whole collection? Out of all those sneakers? Probably. But my favorite is definitely the Black Laser Force. Oh yeah, you can't go I wrong can't. with those. Those beautiful, Ooh. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, you making me want to run a flight club right now? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got Yo, Bell, y'all got the phones in here, man. <laughs> We I might. got a, I got a, I got a, uh, this laser force, he got him in here. Ooh, oh, he right. got to put a special order in yeah, for me, man, yeah. for real. Go back in time one time. I'm not going to have to do something for me, yeah. man. <laughs> All right, man, so I see we standing in front of a Jordan wall. I mean, yeah. these, these rookie of the years go crazy. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Those so beautiful. out of this Jordan wall, we got a, we got a quite a few choices yeah. that looks dope, man. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you, what, what sneakers have significance to you? What, which ones do you like? Like, which ones do you really rock with? Mm, well, I mean, it, for me, it was like a little progression. Like, 
My first pair of J's ever was these, but in white and red. The colorway 18s? 18s, yep. Ooh, 18s, uh-huh. Those things, man. The I, white with the red on the, on the, on bottom, the, yes, the bottom, yeah. Yep, I know yep. these joints. Uh -huh. Man, I felt like, I literally felt like Jordan when I put them on my feet, and right before I went to go hoop, I was even rocking a little headband and all that stuff. I was the like, Jordan headband yeah, with? Yeah, of course, you know, with the, with the red little logo, you know. Ooh. Gotta stay fresh on the court like we were talking about before. <laughs> But, um, you know, from there in my, like, love for shoes and kicks and J's, that just, just kept developing over time. And then once I got to college, I, once I, my, our coaches finally let us play in J's, because at first they didn't even let us play in J's. Oh, like, because wow. we, we were at Nike school, so they were like, you guys only could play in Nike. But then, you know, things got a little bit lenient, and then I started playing in some 10s. Oh, these 10s go crazy. Yeah. Orlando joints. Yeah. Oh, these go crazy. I play, I play, I remember I was playing against Kentucky and I was wearing these and there's a little picture of me on the web with them on and I was like, man, I'm going to frame that How many one points day. you had that night? That's a good question. I think like 10. Oh. Yeah. You got a couple of dunks on tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But then. You know, we transitioned to the tens again. Like I think these are the one, these are the one of one of the most comfortable J's ever. It's just I don't know something about them. It just you just move so freely. And then once I got to the pros, I started wearing these ones because you know the Knicks it goes right with the jersey with the blue and orange. Yeah, so. this go perfectly, man. Can I get a jersey, man? Can, I, <laughs> can you somehow work out a jersey for me, man? I'm gonna need one to rock with something like this, yeah, man. I for got real. You, man. Now seriously, I'll sport your jersey. Seriously. Hey, hundred <laughs> percent. All right, so I spoke to Bell a little earlier today. You know, today's a very important day, man. We had the release of the new 11 Concord. Yeah. Classic. Facts, all facts. What's your thoughts on them? I see they're right behind you. Like, what are your thoughts on these sneakers? These things right here, man, they're beautiful, man. Like, you got the 45 on the back to signify when Jordan came back, you know, killing it on the court as usual. Facts. You got the patent leather right here. It's just an all around classic shoe, clear bottoms. And I don't know if you know this, but purple is my favorite color, so. This is a winner in my book. All right, all right. I ain't know that, but I know now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Purple go crazy. It depends on what you throw, but they got a lot of purple. You got any Rav Simmons? Of course. You know what I'm saying? The purple yeah. joints go hard, yeah. right or wrong. Of yeah. course. All facts. So, I mean, I like them too, but it's just the, the clear bottom. You got to really protect these, especially yeah. these uh, sneaker people that really like yeah. to wear their kicks. Mm -hmm. Most sneaker heads, they like to just wear them a couple of times, they put them away, you know how it goes, because mm -hmm. they may have to resell them or yeah. they just hold on to them. So you gotta be real careful if you're into sneakers to just make sure you don't wear these in the rain because you know, after a while, they're gonna go bad quick if you get caught a few times out there. Of course, there, so. the bottoms will turn yellow. Exactly, so that's the only thing that I, you know, that I can say about the these right here, but these, mm -hmm. like you said, are all around beautiful kick. Come back like Jordan wearing the full power. It ain't to play yep. games with you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, these go crazy. I'm I rock with them. All right, so we just left the Jordan side. Yep. So now we over here on the Adidas side, three stripes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I see the Yeezys is right behind you. Those are 500. Yeah. Anybody sure. that watched that first episode, I was wearing these actually on the first episode. Mm -hmm. So they already kind of know my love yeah. for the Yeezy and what he brings to the sneaker culture. Yep. But um, what does it bring to you to the sneaker culture like Yeezys? What do you think? I mean, you know, we started with Nike and you know everyone including myself follows him over to adidas and you know what i'm saying like he's he hasn't stopped creating you know beautiful timeless shoes like i feel like i don't think these shoes will ever go out of style and the fact that they're so comfortable is just like man you just gotta get them you have to and especially like working out i know you do a lot of working out and, yeah. and conditioning and stuff like mm -hmm. that so you know with your workout do you personally use these for your workout or? No, I actually I actually lift and like do conditioning in these. Oh, nice, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. So you actually yeah, wear those. Yeah, oh, I actually I wear them to work out. But then oh, I have another pair that I just like kick around, you know, walk around in because they're just comfortable. Which it's one? It's like you're walking on the, the yellow ones. Oh, damn, what's the name of them? Oh, the super moons? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the super yeah. moon. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, those go yeah. crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, those so are straight. It's just something, you know, to, to be comfortable in, you know. All right, so let's move along. I see we got a lot of um, things up here. We got the Y3s, we got the Ooh, Rav yeah. Simmons. Uh, look, they got the Dragon Ball Z what? joints. What do you think about the Dragon Yo, Ball Z joints? These is beautiful, man. I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone's trying to <laughs> Everybody's trying to go super sad, man. Like facts, facts, super facts. These fact. things are beautiful. Blue and yellow, like Carmelo. Jeez. Why does <laughs> why does kind of remind me of like Sonic, man? They kind of give me that Yo, Sonic vibe. Actually. These look dope, but Sonic could have definitely tried to take credit though. For real. Sonic vibes. Yeah, it's just you know Sonic man? vibes. You put these on and you gone. You know. <laughs> That's a fact. But man. nah, these is these is tight, you know, nice little soul. And you got the little Dragon Dragon Ball the balls, yo. Ooh. Exactly. And they got the Dragon Ball Z on the joint. Ooh wee. Yeah, these joints are straight. Exactly. I'd wear them. So, what are you, while we speaking on like Adidas and mm -hmm. you know the sneaker culture, what are one of the sneakers that you have in mind? What's your next cop right now? What do you want to buy right now? It's a good question. Enjoy your holidays. Oh, <laughs> right on time. <laughs> where where mine's at, man? I, I want a good holiday, too. Dang. So what are these? Got, we got some, you know, Virgil, you know he's doing big collabs with Nike. So we got some some runners right here. Oh, off-white joints. Off-white. These things go hard. These things go hard. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Exactly. Oh, Christmas this... came early. <laughs> you can never go wrong with a pair of off-whites anyway. It don't matter what never. you do, man. Shout never. out to Virgil. Yeah, he's killing it. Yeah, Much respect. Tight. Yeah, man. I can't wait to rock these. Yeah, look how you look how you cheese. <laughs> See, that's when you knew you really into the sneaker culture. Of course. When a lot of people like food makes them happy. Yep. Sneakers of make course. me happy. Puts a smile on my face every time. Look at that cheese now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's better than food. Yeah, exactly. Show all of them. So now I need to figure out an outfit for these. Oh yeah, you can never go wrong with some light blue jeans, mm -hmm. some light blue joints, and you can kind of try to like throw a little off-white shirt on it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Blue jeans, little off-white shirt. Yeah. And you can, you know, you Keep can't go wrong. And I don't mean literally off-white, yeah. but I mean like a, literally like a tannish off-white shirt could yeah. bring these out with a of light course. blue. You can never go wrong. And your jeans, you're into fashion too, so come on, dog. Yeah. You know you're going to kill these yeah. Come on, dog. <laughs> Man, I'm hype. I'm hype, and I really appreciate you guys oh, having me. I appreciate me here, man. you, man. And shout out to alumni. Um, yeah. And while we while we're talking, man, I just want to ask a quick question, like mm. a serious question. How's the experience been after signing with the Knicks? Like, how did that feel? How was that next day when you woke up after you signed that contract? Man. How did you feel? It was unreal, cause like I remember, you know, previously, you know, when I was growing up playing 2K, playing my player and stuff. Like you see the whole progression of that, you know, your training in college, then boom, you know, you, you're in the pros, you got workouts, and then next thing you know, you're in the game. And you know, when you had that whole point of view thing, you got the little thing, you got the little viewer going, looking to the left, looking to the right. <laughs> and then it's like, you get graded on once you like playing, what all that kind of stuff and practices and all that. Like, it was just crazy, it was so surreal. And then like, my family was so proud of me, you know? And it just shows, you know, hard work and dedication. Anything can happen. It pays Anything, off, especially man. Especially with the guy up there. And congratulations on all your success, Appreciate man. For you. real, man, I'm rooting for you. Like I said, I need that jersey. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm giving you my number after this. I'm gonna hold you to it. I need that jersey. I'm gonna rock it on one of the episodes. I'm like, yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. Straight up. Yeah, Straight man, up. but congratulations on everything you have going on, man. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a lot of respect for you for your fashion sense, your sneaker culture, your sneaker IQ. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, this has been a dope interview, a dope experience. and um. Thank you for all uh, choosing the, uh, the sneaker show, man. It's of the course. sneaker game. You of heard? course, you know what it is. All right, so there you have it. Yup. You know what I'm saying? Jeff Kobe, NY Knicks, NBA rookie. This is C Young, and this is the sneaker game.